Gillingham and current leaders over in League Two, of course, as we head into match day number five. But will they still be there after this coming weekend? We're going to take a little look next. That's right, folks. Back once again in another video. Today, we're taking a look at match day number five. Of course, international break is going on. A couple of cancellations, but it's pretty much a full match day. Uh, on the agenda. We'll get to it in a second. If you knew where you've been, smash your subscribe button. You want to stop shop for League Two is right here under Warriorski. We are in a car, so our uh, our offerings are very limited, but uh, we're going to get our predictions and, of course, your predictions in just a second. A big, big shout out to the VIPs. They are the patrons. You know who you are. And again, if you knew, hit the old subscribe, boys and girls. Now, we are going to have a quick look at, of course, the results gone by in match number four. They should be on the screen right about now. That's right. And, of course, running through the score lines with you now i am doing this very much on the on the fly here so you've got to bear with me i don't see my predictions but i'll run through the score lines of the final scores Gillingham with a big one nil win of a chesterfield monster score line there meanwhile doncaster rose uh continue to, to fly high with a 3-2 away win against port vale port vale are struggling under darren moore uh hopefully they'll click it again maybe they'll do a doncaster this year uh, stanley and colchester duked it out to a one one draw wimbledon one new winners of a Fleetwood. Big win for them. Bromley lost to Crew. They're up and running at long last. Carl Larson, goodbye to their manager. Trammer with a big away win. 2 1 win for them. Uh, meanwhile, Newport County beat Morecambe. They're struggling under Derek Adams. That might not uh, last very, very long. Meanwhile, Grimsby with a big 2 1 win of a High Flyers. Bradford City and Barrow continue to fly as well with a 1 0 away win over at Harrogate Town. Notts County with a 2 1 away win against Swindon. Also, big winners over Cheltenham Town 2 1. And Salford 1 0 winners in their game. That's, of course, my picks. Uh, the, the graphic right now should show the league table as you see it. And as you Siege, uh, uh, we have uh, Matey Boy Gillingham top of the table with Barrow and Walsall in hot pursuit. And of course, quickly at the bottom end, uh, we see Morecambe continue to struggle uh, at the bottom of the screen. Now, of course, we have got your picks, and on the screen right now, you should have the winner of this past week. Uh, or maybe, maybe we'll skip it. We'll skip it this week. We're going to skip it because I am on the, in a car. We'll come back next week and hope to have an updated prediction for you. I'm in a car. I've got basic uh, fundamentals here. And of course, if you want to get involved with this week's prediction league, have a little look at it right here, right now. All right, then, folks, let's kick on into this weekend's games. Of course, it should be on the screen now. Unfortunately, I doubt we'll, uh, we'll use the old map today because we are uh, uh, filming a very basic show so a couple of, uh, a couple of delays or postponements Fleetwood uh, against Salford not happening Tramway against Wimbledon also not happening but Barrow up against Swindon is happening so let's take a look at that one then shall we of course coming at you this coming uh, Saturday the 7th of September it is Barrow managed by Stephen Clements up against Mark Kennedy's Swindon Town of course Swindon pretty much having a, a, a right old time at the moment yet to get going 23rd in the table there of course yet to, to pick up a win up against the Barrowside, who are flying bloody high, that's right. They're third in the table, nine points so far. Uh, picking up four wins at the possible six. Uh, they've played six times, they two sides, since 2021. Two wins for Barrow, three for Swindon Town. There's been one draw between the two sides. Last time around, at Barrow, at Hoker Street, it was a 2 0 win for Swindon. In fact, the home side hasn't won in the last four matches. Coming into this, Barrow on the back of that 3-2 loss to Bolton in the, in the Football League Trophy. Swindon uh, also losing to Exeter in the same competition. Uh, look at the bookies' odds for this one. The, the odds are 6-5 on for your Barrow. 5-2 is the draw. 10-3 is your away win. We are going with a 2-0 win for Barrow to get another win and put Swindon right on in the mixer. Let's go to uh, uh, we've got, well, we got Bradford City next. That's right. Taking on Carlisle, who got rid of uh, their coach, uh, Paul Simpson, no more. Who will take over the reins? Get your uh, opinions down below. Garrett, uh, Graham, Alexander's boys, Bradford, uh, dropping off a little bit at the, at the moment. Back-to-back -back defeats for them, 42% form for them. Just one win now in five. Up against Carlisle's side, who've just uh, won once in the last six games. Uh, coming into this on the 21st spot, they were relegated last season, don't forget. Played 20 times since 2006. We have six wins for Bradford, 11 wins for Carlisle, and there's been three draws between the two sides. Last time around, these two sides played. Uh, it was in uh, back in where we got Carlisle, back in Bradford. It was a one-day win for Bradford back in May 2023. Is 
in the semi-final of the was it playoffs or, or something like that. Last time they played outright in the League, league 2 playoffs, it was Bradford came out on top with a 1-0 win at Valley Parade. Uh, Bradford coming into this on the back of that penalty shootout loss to Newcastle in the Football League Trophy. Carlisle losing to Nottingham Forest in the same competition as well. The bookies, my friends, will go 11-8 on for your Bradford. They are overwhelmed favourites. 11-4 is the draw. 15-4 is your Carlisle on this. We are going to go with a 2-1 win for Bradford City. That's right. Let's go over to Cheltenham now. Up against Harrogate Town coming at you. Also same day as the rest of them. Played twice. It's 22 and one Two wins out of two for Cheltenham. Not for Harrogate, who are now on a bit of a uh, crashing down into reality here. Back-to-back -back defeats for them. 42% form for them over the last six. I've just been to the dentist, so please forgive me. Uh, Cheltenham, though, not doing great themselves. Just three points all season. Uh, 20 for the table, so need a result and fast. Last time around, it was a 4-1 win for Cheltenham in Cheltenham. Uh, that was, of course, in the league. Back in May 2021, Cheltenham will get the 2-1 win over Newport County in the Football League Trophy. Harrogate uh, with a 1-0 loss to Barrow in the league itself. The bookies, my friends, will go with... Uh, we've got Cheltenham 2019 on. They are favoured. We've got 27-10 is the draw. 5-2 is your away win. We're going with the one more draw ourselves. Point apiece. Point in the bag. What do you think about that? Let's go uh, Colchester United up against Bromley. Coming at you over in, uh, in, in Colchester. Played just the one time. Since 20, 2009, it was a one win out of one for Colchester. That one win was a 4 0 win for Colchester against Bromley over in. Um of course, uh, wherever Bromley play their games. 4-0 uh, away it was in the FA Cup back in round one and in November 2009. Bromley currently in 10th at the table up against Colchester who are 15th. Uh, three games now without a win for Colchester up against the Bromley side. Won three and lost three over the last six. Coming into this, Colchester with a one one draw against Akron and Stanley Bromley. Uh, with a loss uh, actually sorry they picked up a win a cheeky win over Cambridge in the Football League trophy just the other day a quick look at the odds here then shall we we have uh, Colchester 11 of 10 for the victory we have 13 to 5 the draw 23 of 10 is your away win that's of course Bromley here we are also uh, going with a 2-1 win for Colchester on this one let's move over to Crew. then shall we and a bit of uptick of form of late up against the Morecambe, si uh, Morecambe side who just can't get going at all uh, 18 times they have played since 2009, 10 was a crew, five for Morecambe, three draws as well. Morecambe uh, without a win uh, in in uh, in the league, I don't think. Uh, zero points so far, 24th place. But they did pick up a win in the Football League Trophy. We'll talk about that shortly. Crew, 42% form for them now, currently in 18th spot, four points on the board all season long. Last time round, over at Grusty Road, it was a 3 2 win for Morecambe way back in March 2024. Crew on the back of a 4 1 loss to Blackpool in the Football League Trophy. Morecambe picking up a 2 1 win over Wigan. Would you add them and leave it? The bookies on this one, we go crew 10 to 9 on for the victory. 13 to 5 is the draw. 29 to 10 is your. I mean, I'm backing crew here. 2 0 win for them. Coming back from beyond and, of course, making a push maybe to climb the table. Doncaster Rovers up against. Who are they up against? They're up against Gillingham, of course. High flying Gillingham, top of the table right now with 10 points of a possible, I think, 12. Uh, up against the Doncaster side, who are fifth. This is one of the games of the round right here, right now. Three wins of the last four for Doncaster. Up against the Gillingham side, 58% for them at the moment. Uh, last time around, these two sides played at the Keep Moat. It was a 2-1 win for Doncaster. We've just lost once at the last four against the Jules. The Jules picking up that win back in April 2023. Doncaster coming into this on the record 2-1 win over Huddersfield in the Football League Trophy. Gillingham, though, on the flip side, coming into this on a 2-1 loss to Peterborough. Bradley Dack returned to action in that game. The odds for this one, we have Doncaster 6-5 on for the victory. We have 5-2. The draw 10-3 is your away win. I am backing another draw here. Point apiece. Gillingham I will be happy I'll keep them up in the top of the table and of course Doncaster closing in on them we've got uh, Chesterfield then up against Grimsby I pressed the wrong button uh, Chesterfield up against Grimsby coming at you over at Chesterfield uh, played 14 times since 2003 Paul Cook's Chesterfield up against David Artel's Grimsby 8 wins for Grimsby 4 for Chesterfield 2 draws as well Chesterfield just 1 defeat in the last 5 for their 58% form up against Grimsby 3 wins 3 defeats uh, they're currently 11th in the table with 6 points compared to Chesterfield's 12th and five. Most recently, they played at Chesterfield. It's a 4 1 win for Grimsby on the bloody road. Goodness gracious me, back in April 2022. That was in the non league, it looks like. Uh, meanwhile, Grimsby uh, on the back of a uh, 2 1 win over Bradford. Chesterfield coming into a 1 0 win over Lincoln in the Football League trophy. 
Bookies go for this one. 13 8 on is your Chesterfield. 31 to 10. The draw. 70 to 4 is your win. We are backing Chesterfield. 3 1 win. Big win. And taking the points and moving the chains. MK Dons up against High Flying Walsall. Uh, Going to be a classic over at the stadium. MK, of course. Uh, not too sure if they've appointed the manager yet, but uh, MK Dons coming into this. Just one win in the last six. 19 for the table. Three points for the season. Walsall. Five wins in the last six under Sadler. Second of the table with nine points in all competitions. 34 times they have played since 2001. 11 wins for MK Dons, 12 wins for Walsall, 11 draws as well. Last time around, at this very venue, it was a 5 0 win for MK Dons. They've won, actually, actually unbeaten, sorry, uh, in the last three against them. Have not conceded the goal against Walsall in the last three. Just lost once over the last six. MK Dons picking up a 1 0 loss to Salford in the league. That was the last match. Walsall squeaking bats Birmingham penalty shootout in the Football League trophy. The odds for this one, though, we have MK Don 6 to 5 uh, for the victory for them. 23 to 10 is the draw. 21 to 10 is your away win. I am going MK Don's, even though Walsall are flying. Uh, so we'll see if I'm right or if I am wrong. Let's go to the final couple here. Newport County up against Port Vale over in Wales. That's right. Played nine times since 2017. Five for Newport County, one for Port Vale, and three draws at the moment. Port Vale, 42% form for them right now. Two wins at the last six matches. Just up against Newport County, won three and lost three over the last six. Most recently, they played these two sides in Wales, 2 1 when it was back in December 2021. Newport County coming on top. In fact, they've won four of the last five, have Newport County against Port Vale. The Welshies picking up a 2 1 loss to Cheltenham in the Football League Trophy most recently. Port Vale picking up a 5 4 penalty shootout win over Wolves in the same competition. The odds, though, for this we have Newport County 11 5 for the victory, 12 5 is the draw, and 6 5 is your away win. That's right, we are backing a 1 1 draw over in Wales to split the points right down the middle and then finally we have Notts County taking on Accrington Stanley coming out over at Notts County played 19 times since 2006 seven wins for the host six wins for the visitors and there's been six draws as well Notts County just one defeat in the last five a couple of draws in that mix meanwhile Accrington Stanley are struggling 22nd in the table with just two points all season long last time around though, over at Notts County it was a 3-1 win for the hosts uh, actually, Stanley have only lost once in the last six against them. That was the last time they played at this very venue. The host, though, picking up a 2-1 win over Swindon Town in the league most recently. Stanley with a 4-1 loss against Stockport County in the Football League trophy. The odds, 20-13 on is your Notts County. 60-5 is your draw. 4-1, Stanley. They are struggling. Going to go with a 2-1 win for Notts County on this one. That, my friends, completes the pack. That's my picks. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, and of course, get your own predictions in using the super duper duper prediction league link. Well, there you have it, folks. Well, there you bloody have it. Those are my weekly predictions for you. I do apologize for the uh, the shyness in quality, but we are in a car, we're on the road, and we hope to be back to normality very, very soon. I think we'll have another more, another more week of this because, in fact, it should be a little bit better next week. I should be uh, at my office to be able to do that. But um, anyway, subscribe, smash the like, catch you later. But until then, guys and girls, we are done.